what you are about to witness is the time that I decided to quit mouse and keyboard. When I lose this gunfight, as you guys can see, it was the end. I slammed my mouse down. I don't think I ever raged so hard. I had perfect tracking until I started getting shot at and none of my bullets just wouldn't connect. Sure, I was slightly off the guy, but pay attention to this clip. I'm on controller. My aim was nowhere near this guy. And I still was able to down him. Same scenario. Just my controller locked on. And that's when I decided, you know what? I quit. I quit mouse and keyboard in Warzone. I am done. Let's get into the video. What's going on, guys? You already know who it is. It is your boy, that guy, the dryer nude here. And yes, even dude, even in this clip, like I couldn't even see him, but my aim assist just carried me through it. I decided to quit mouse and keyboard on Warzone. And I know a lot of you are disappointed. I know a lot of you are asking why. Um, and don't worry, I'm not quitting mouse and keyboard on multiplayer. It's just Warzone. I can't do it with my sanity and everything. Sure, I might have like a spurt of, well, maybe let me try it on mouse and keyboard. Um, but right there, the clips in the beginning just shows you like how fed up I am with uh, aim assist. And if you can't beat them, keep going until you can. And uh, I've tried that. And it just it just doesn't work out. It doesn't work out for me, and I'm sorry, but I just I just can't do it anymore. Um, I'd rather be consistent and grind the ranks to see my rank go up than having a no-life little Timmy uh, that doesn't have any skill in aiming, doesn't have half the skill I have in aiming, uh, just absolutely outgun me because he's getting assisted, and I'm not. And when something like uh, Battle Royale, uh, where your life really matters, it's not like multiplayer, um then yes i do care about it and i want to be as competitive as i can and i want to climb the ranks and i know a lot of people on mouse and keyboard have done it i have gotten to the top 250 but as for me i don't have that time to literally grind 24 7 like i used to during covid just working on my aim and getting better um uh, i guess you can say now i'm a, a casual aimer my aim is still better than most people but i don't like I don't play like that hard to like focus on my aim anymore. I'd rather just play the game, have fun with my friends and beam people. As you guys can see here, like just aim assist just locks on to them. And I know perfectly where to shoot. Uh, I have a bunch of controllers. If you guys were in my live stream, you saw that I have a ton of controllers and I've been on the PS5 scuffs recently. I have an aim controller too. And I really like that controller also, but maybe we can do like a controller giveaway uh, for you guys just to, Give it back to the community and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm on controller now for Warzone ranked and Warzone primarily until they do something about aim assist or something like that. But I will still be making uh, multiplayer videos on the uh, mouse and keyboard and how to get better on that. But so far right now, I'm just not having fun on mouse and keyboard in uh, Warzone. And that's just mainly when it comes down to it, like just me having fun. I really don't care about what input anybody plays on for me personally, but uh, right now controller clearly has the advantage and I don't want to be at a disadvantage on mouse and keyboard. And um, even here, like I'm just like frying this guy and you guys are gonna see here, I, I wipe this team out and it just absolutely frying them on controller and for some reason gunfights just feel completely fair. So I hope you guys can understand. Let me know down in the comment section below do you still play Warzone on mouse and keyboard? Because um, if so, maybe these clips will dissuade you and just play on controller. I, I get COD as a controller game, and it always has been. And you know what? I'm okay with it because I can play on both inputs, and it really doesn't matter to me anymore. I think this will be like the last video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone when it comes to me complaining about aim assist and how it is they clearly know it's broken they clearly know that uh you can absolutely abuse it and they clearly know that it aims for you but nothing's being done and i have come to accept the fact that um warzone is now just you know a controller game and it will always will be and i don't think it's going to you know go down anytime soon aim assist strength as these guys absolutely get just wrecked um 
and just learning to play smarter with a controller. Uh, my aim is still not that good. <clears throat> Sorry, on the PS5 controller, uh, but it's getting there, and I'm learning to work with it and all that good stuff. So it's a journey, so I hope you guys follow me through this journey. As always, guys, remember to stay blessed and stay humble, and I will catch you in another Call of Duty video, Warzone or Modern Warfare 2 on mouse and keyboard. Again, I'm not leaving mouse and keyboard on Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Peace. Yes.